All right, guys, we're playing Ash top lane once again in Split 2. This time we're playing the Ash versus Renekton matchup. And for the wins, we've got Arc and Comet again. We've got Mana Flow, Transcendent Scorch, Biscuits Delivery, and also Approach Velocity. Now, somehow, I think, if I remember correctly, I think I ran Ash into Renekton before too, like not too long ago. It's very surprising. I actually picked Ash top into Renekton this time, but I believe last time it was the opposite way. Either way, this matchup is solid, bro. This this matchup is very solid. I really like this matchup. The only thing you do have to be very careful about... Let me check one thing. Okay, back. The only thing you gotta check out uh, is the dash of Renekton. You gotta be extremely careful about it. If he dashes in, hits the stun, uh, he can chase you down until you get like, until you stay like a mile away. So that's something to remember. But we have the advantage because we have the uh, Arcing Comet set up. We can basically spam W and we can always proc my W uh, for the Arcing Comet. So if we hit W, the Arcing Comet will always apply. So we automatically have an advantage. See if we can proc it here. Alright, let's go back. Okay, first things first. We are building into boots. Always boots. Pretty much always. Nice. Let's go for the country ward. And let's see if we can make it back. So, uh, basically what we're trying to do here is we took a uh, Porsche into Renekton, the wave got under a tower, and we've got into a position where things might be a little bit risky because Warwick may come. So, in order to fix that, I just jump down the lane, I got the under a tower, I buy my next item, and I come back with item advantage. This guy is still in lane, he hasn't been able to buy anything, although... I think soon enough he will be. Because I don't think I can out-push him. Oh. I don't think so. Because he's actually trying to shove it. Yeah. Strategically a good play. What I can try and do is see if I can cancel the backboard maybe. Yep. Cancel the backboard. Pretty good. Remember guys, if your opponent is trying to outplay you by shoving the lane in and trying to backport, just try and hit your W. Try and see if you can cancel their backport. Because right now, Venecton was actually winning. He was winning against me. He was strategically making a really good play. But because I canceled the backport, he's now losing again. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Do you s Guys, do you see what difference it makes if you cancel backports? Do you see that? It's such a strategically good way to counter your opponent. You just cancel the backboard, that's it. Problem solved. Okay, let's go for Circus Greaves. And we're just gonna go for like uh, one potion and then we shall make it back again. So once again, like the way it's gonna push into me, which is good. That's fine. I think I might just do this, there you go. One moment. Okay, I'm back. All right, this guy's got a long short on boots. Let's see if we can freeze the wave. Maybe. No, we can't. It's okay. You might look into another reset. Now, guys, if you're playing Ash in top lane, you're pretty much always building the first item always exactly the same. Um, the item that we're going to be running is going to be the Blade of the Rune King. You need that item for the 1v1 potential. And after Blade of the Rune King, things become a little bit more situational. You can go into a different variety of items. Typically for me, I go Hurricane, but you can also go for like items like such as the uh, Terminus and like a few others. Plenty of options. Uh, not really worth. I lost some farm for the for the 1v1. At least I wouldn't consider that to be worth, but... 
Let's see, Hecarim is in bot lane. The Warwick is currently missing. We don't have the um, jungle here. So if you get ganked by Warwick, we're dead. So that means we have to stay really far away. Okay, Warwick is in bot lane. Good to know. Always think like that, guys. Think about the enemy jungle and think where your jungler is. If your jungler is in bot lane, there's no one that can save you if you get ganked. So you're gonna have to play a lot more safe if, if you don't know where he is. Remember that, guys. This is very important. Let me auto him down. This ultimate will expire at some point. I think maybe I can even bait him. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah. I'm just gonna ping my jungle to stay around because I need to wave to push uh, back into him. Very nice. And I think that uh, Warwick might also be here. I need to get that blade real quick. Nice, we got it. Okay, 1.3k. Uh, it's time to back. We're gonna go for... Let me think here. I'm, I think I'm going to go for a curve bone to a long sword. There you go. That's a slightly better option. Three long swords, two of one boots, Renekton. All right, buddy. All right, my man. Sure. I hope he's not going to get plates on me, but. Could happen. No, it's not getting played. Fortunately. Your sins weigh you down. Okay, so he's still here. Let's put it into a slow push. And both. Well, remember about Warwick. When we do the slow push, there's always the ability, like the possibility that uh, Warwick could be coming top lane. Warwick is currently in mid lane. So we don't have to worry about him. Seems like he's actually pathing to bot lane. So we are not going to get ganked by work at all. That means that top lane is completely free for me. I can do whatever I want right now. Because we know that Warwick is pathing bot lane. So we don't have to ward. We don't have to do anything weird. Don't have to think about him. I'm still like kind of slow pushing the wave a little bit. Alright, let's go. No need to press my E or whatever. Proc my uh, W on him. It's okay if that hits. Okay. Can we push? The Warwick has got to Drake. So again, the Warwick is not here. That means we can do whatever we want to. Uh, with the exception of Yasuo mid. Can we push? Warwick is in bot lane right now. Yasuo is back in mid lane. The only thing that I don't see is the ADC, but I'm assuming that Lucian is not going to go top lane, of course. Warwick is still in bot lane. Three people bot lane. We're still alone with the Renekton. This guy is ult. Oh, I guess I'm probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charged him down really far, but if you make one mistake on Ash Top, you're you're gonna get wrecked. I think that Hacker I'm gonna, uh, can kill him, maybe. He has no ult. He can probably take him down. Or not. Okay, so I'm gonna go for place apparently. Yeah, when you play like a like a champ like vein top or ash or whatever if you make one mistake you're gonna die for it so that's something to remember when you play this you can completely wreck your opponent apart like like shredding them down but if they have like some kind of cc or dash you have to be a little bit more careful because otherwise you'll end up dying which is exactly what happened for me so remember that when uh when you play this stuff Seems like he has like most of the components. He has no ultimate right now. There's a Warwick actually in top.
Could maybe push this out, see if I can rotate. Okay, we don't have to do that. Can keep spamming my arcing comet because that's where our advantage is at. And we got him down. So that's basically the way how Ash top lane works. You pretty much slow down your opponent until you win. And that's it. You have like a permanent slow. I'm getting Warwick right now as we speak. He's apparently still trying to chase me down. Okay. He stopped chasing me down right now. Got blades. Pretty good. And let's go back top lane. Hey, Ego. Thank you so much for the 23 months, bro. Almost two years, bro. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for always coming back. He still doesn't have the item complete at the end. Awesome. I was kind of scared he was going to complete at some point, but he apparently doesn't have it yet. He could, of course, come from the bush itself. The Warwick is now in bot lane. So again, we don't have to worry about junglers. I got him down, got my R. And he's gone. Pretty good. Doesn't seem like anyone's up here. We can maybe try and get that secondary plate, maybe. I don't think so. The it's 40 minutes. Yeah, we're definitely we're definitely not getting the, the plate anymore, also not tower. I don't want to try and go for it when I know that Warwick could be topside. It's not really a smart idea. Let's go into the next item. I'll just go into uh, into Terminus. Uh, we also go into Blue Trinket. The Drake is spawning in five. Seems like my teammates are going for it. I'm going to see if I can also help them out. Seems like Renekton is also responding to the Drake, so it's going to be a 5v5. He's already doing Drake. I hope that Akali is going to respond to the fight too. That would be really appreciated. Okay, at least we're getting like one catch. I was hoping I could get the other two, actually. But it's okay. It's no problem. Maybe Akali can go top lane into Yasuo. Maybe he can. If Akali rotates uh, top lane and I go mid lane and take the wave there, I uh, it's going to be slightly more efficient because Akali can make it top lane much faster. I'm not going to go for tower. Uh, let's see if we can kill that Yasuo and just see if I can press my R on him. I don't want to predict... Okay, I tried and I regret this, bro. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I have to be careful as I approach these people because, of course, there has to be a Warwick down here. Makes a lot of sense. And I think that he might be going top, actually.
Could maybe try and like dive to Lucian, although that's a pretty big risk. What? What is that Renekton even doing, bro? He was playing super serious the whole game, and now he starts running it down. Yeah. To me, that looked like a guy inting on purpose. He didn't even press R, he just straight up walked under a tower. And then died. What's up with that guy, bro? He's playing the whole game, so he starts inting it. Nice. Wait, I'm gonna stay around for another wave here, actually. Let's see if he's running it around it down. Ah. Renekton is running it down on purpose. What a sad person. Alright, man. Suppose he's not uh, enjoying the Ash top lane. <laughs> he's actually tilting. <laughs> he, now he's now inting it. Alright, buddy. We're gonna go top. Let's see if we can cast at the Yasuo. Hey, Ricky, thank you for the six months. Thank you for the half a year, Ricky. Thank you, my man. If that fight keeps going... Well, if I'm out in like five seconds, I can almost press my ultimate. Still have my R. Never mind. No, I don't. No ult? Apparently. I love how Renekton, it Renekton is now going to bot lane and actually playing the game again. I don't understand some people, man. Like, he, he's playing the game super serious. Then when the mid game enters, he actually starts inting on purpose. And then when when he dies a couple times, he goes back to playing like he should. I don't get these people, bro. I don't understand these people. Truly, I don't. I don't have my ult. So technically, I have a hard time beating him. I need my ult, then I can beat him easily. Oh, he goes back to inting mode. You guys didn't see this. <laughs> that Renekton is such a joke. Um, I'll chase him down. And 1k, so let's see. We're gonna go back here and... I suppose I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Kraken Slayer, but... Trinity seems very nice here. I'm gonna go Trinity. Okay, we're gonna run bot lane. Take towers. Can't believe that Renekton is going from like serious mode and then going to mid game and then start to starting to end. I don't understand them. You pro like I don't know. I just don't. <clears throat> I wonder if the uh, if the Vanguard or whatever is gonna pick it up. Kind of doubt it. No one's up there. Could set my ultimate there. <laughs> Got it. I love playing Ash with Shin. Firstly, because of the ability haste.
got him. Alright, we're getting chased down by a Warwick, aren't we? I have the Warwick effect on me, so he could be running here, but we already have too much vision. Let's go for this one. Uh, this time we can we can run mid lane and then from mid lane we just go Baron buff. So let's do it. We can use that Baron buff to get in their base. We pretty much have every single objective. Drake is like 50, uh, 2 min 50 so. It's a long time away. Love to see their neck and end as always. Got him. You know what? Let's actually go ahead and do it. I kind of refuse to go for these team fights. I just want to go Baron Porschmet. I can actually get into their base a lot easier. And then all we have to do is go mid, go top, take the nip sound. That's it. Tell my door split too. Let's go. I think I could easily 1v1 the Yasuo by myself as long as I somehow outplay his wall. Because if he plays that down, I'm gonna have to wait until it expires. He's currently up here. We can try fighting him. Let's see where he's at. Yep, there's the wall. Sidestep. You better sidestep that Yasuo third Q. If he ults, he will regain the shield. We got two nips down. We have one more to go. One more. So I guess the Warwick has also rage quit the game, right? I haven't seen Warwick anymore. Okay, Warwick is actually here, but he wasn't there for a while. Half the team. Yeah, the Yasu is not playing anymore. Love how we're just diving them. Yeah, the Yasu, the Yasu left the game actually. Lucian's trolling. Alright. They all they all left rage quit. Hey, either way, this is Ash Top. Thanks for watching today's Ash video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.